Welcome to another week here at the Tour Lewin. We are taking out more rotting beams and joists in Elias' loft. We are also adding some jack studs to support the roof more so that we can replace some of the joists, also the last end piece and fix some of that beam. Let me explain a little bit what we are doing here for people that just found us. So this is right above Elias' room. This is going to be a loft area. And what is happening here is we have a lot of rot damage on the roof line. So a lot of the rafters don't actually go all the way down and aren't supported. So what we had to do is on this side you can see this is actually all still intact. We have a beam over here that sits on top of the joists and the rafters actually go right on top of that beam. But the problem is over there on the far side, <coughs> that beam is completely rotten away. And a lot of the joists that would be going out towards the roof line are also rotten. So I have to fix that all and <coughs> The easiest way to do that while I'm taking everything out is putting up some support walls. So I'm doing it over on this side too because I figured it doesn't hurt to put a little bit of support on this side too. And we still have to do it obviously on the far side. And you can see on this side the support beam that I put on top of it is actually much lower on this side than it is on this side of the rafter so how that happened is i put it all up if level before i had obviously the wall supporting it and before i pushed out the roof where it actually needed to be 
So we, when we increased the height of the roof, when we pushed that entire section out, that beam moved obviously to the back and therefore it looks like it's much further down. Obviously, um, that it doesn't really matter if that thing is not supporting it exactly the same way. Um, we have the full 2x4 being supported, so in that sense it does not matter if the beam is a little... It's obviously just ugly, but it doesn't matter if it's ugly because this is going to be all covered with drywall, you won't even see it. It really just needs to be supporting. So on this side I opted to do it the easier way since I didn't have to uh, fix anything, since I didn't have to push anything out. I just pushed it up to the rafters and this should hold it just fine too. So I have to finish a couple more pieces over here on this side, one over here and one on the far side. And then I will start potentially doing it on this other side too. When I get that all done, we will rebuild the joists that we have over here. We're going to rebuild them also on this side and we actually put the beam back in where it's supposed to be also on that far side. It's obviously going to be a lot of work, especially with the support wall in the way, but I'd rather do it this way, have it supported and the roof is solid as I'm doing it. So we finished two sides. Now we need to do this one. This is going to be an interesting one because the first few rafters all have still support so we don't have to lift anything up so we're gonna start over here and then as we get closer to the areas I gotta measure if it stays the same we'll keep going if it doesn't then we'll have to bottle jack the rest of the rafters up so that we can make sure we have a straight roof line Also over here, I took off the top plate since it started to rot and you can see here some of the rafters on the bottom are starting to rot here too so we're gonna replace this joist. So we're gonna put a little short piece in here and hope that I can shore up the roof right above it.
is what I'm fixing. Right up there, the bend here was much worse before. <clears throat> and I'm pushing out that whole roof by like three, four inches. So it is a much straighter roof line now already. Obviously we still have to fix a lot, but we gotta support the rest of the roof too. But this is right that spot where we had this issue and the rafters don't go all the way through and the joists don't go all the way through. So as soon as we get that all stabilized, we can also fix the rest of the roof and have somebody actually come and do the roof for us. I will try to explain a little bit what I'm doing here. So obviously we have these studs that I'm shoring up the roof a little bit. We are, I'm using the bottle jack to raise the roof rafters that are over here. Basically the ones that are coming down vertically in a diagonal fashion, of course, with the roof line. And I am just supporting them more. They are about an inch to two inches too low in most spots. So push them back up. As you can tell here, we have this beam that is sitting on top of the floor joists in Elias's loft. The problem that we have is that this beam is rotten in a lot of spaces. So let me pan over here. You can see there is no such uh, beam. So what I have to do is I obviously have to fix all the joists. Some of them are also completely rotten. So I'm taking them out and then taking out the beam, what is left over, and then putting a new shorter joist that just is long enough to go over the wall that we'll do next week. So to fix the issue, I'm adding some jack studs to hold up the roof at the right spot so that I can put a beam and some joists underneath it again. <clears throat> most of that is, most of the roof, because of the beam being completely deteriorated, is about two inches lower. So I actually have to use some jacks, push up the roof on each spot and put a new, uh, new stud in or a stud in to support it all. So these studs are obviously not enough to just support the whole roof. So what I'm doing is I'm going to replace the joists one by one, putting a new beam on top and then sistering some rafters on the side in that then sit on top of, the, of that beam. And then whenever the roofers repair the roof, they're gonna put some new one by material, sheathing material on, they take all that junk out that was just a repair job and redo the roof right over it. And then we will have a solid roof, no leaks, and all the rotten areas will be fixed and we shouldn't have any long-term issues with this, with this section of the house. So behind the insulation here is the master bedroom. There's that hallway that comes up. You can actually see right over there is the staircase that goes up into our, into our master area. So we are going to take this wall out, of course, so that Elias and all the other kids have access to this loft area above Elias's room. What we will do is we will take these joists that you can see right here still out. We'll actually take them out completely. We're just going to make an opening and we're going to put a loft in this side of the room, stopping right at the window because I don't want to put any of the weight on top of the window because it would sag. They don't have a full proper support on there above it, a support header above it. So therefore, I don't want to put extra weight on top of that window. And we're going to make a short, probably about six foot loft up here for them to play. And we'll leave it open a little bit on the side so that the kids can kind of play from one side down to the other. And over here where that wall is, we will take it out, but we'll put a door in and it's going to be actually a secret entrance. Um, that's going to be obviously an upcoming video that's going to take a while. It's going to be in the fin finishing touches. But one thing we want to uh, we are thinking about is putting kind of a bookshelf over on that side and maybe making it some kind of secret passageway into the loft.
I think this is going to be very exciting for Elias to have this loft here. Obviously these joists that are in the picture right now are going to be gone. It's going to be open, similar to what, how it is open back there. Obviously we will have some additional joists right here, but then we'll have a loft similar to what you can already tell maybe by these double joists that are coming down. There's going to be obviously at three more joists that are going all the way across, but I think it's going to be a fun play area for the kids. So next week we will, on the far side over here, we will add the same kind of joists that we already have on this side so that we can put the roof on top again and then I'm going to assist in joists that go actually all the way so we can compress it, have extra strength, extra support uh, along the whole way and maybe we even get to putting some of the flooring right above so that we can actually start walking on there on the loft area. Well, I think that's it for this week. I will see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye.